No. If you think I'm obsessed with Ada, I'm not. I'm not obsessed with Ada, okay? Don't make it out like I am. I'm not. I'm not fucking obsessed with Ada. I'm not obsessed with her. I'm not obsessed. Yeah, honestly, it's a nice I just gotta clean up the house, rebuild the bridge, and you have a lovely bridge. True that, actually. And build some toilets. Like, where are you gonna poo? Where are you gonna do the number one, the number two, and the number 69? Where are you gonna do that? There's literally no bathrooms, except for Mendez's house. If I'm gonna live anywhere in the village, I, I, di I dibs on Mendez's house. And Wi-Fi, true that, exactly. I'm, uh, I, well, I will, what I'll do is I'll get Lewis. I'll get Lewis to build me a 5G, a 5G tower. And then Lewis and Albert Wesker can build a 5G tower, and then we're fine. I dibs on the Mendez's house. And then, you know, we live peacefully, in harmony, we're all good. We just need Ada in here, and then she'll make it more lively. Why do you need a grocery store? We have cows for milk, chickens for eggs, and ganados for meat. We're fine. Chocolate? <laughs> Mr. Beast can give us feastables when he comes into the village trying to build some wells here. He's gonna try to build some wells in this remote village. He'll give, so he'll give us some feastables, donate to us while he's here. You try to buy a village for one dollar? <laughs> dollar, yes. What <laughs> one dollar one dollar village versus one million dollar village? That's a new video for Mr. Beast. One dollar village versus one million dollar village. <laughs> God no, no Mary, no. <laughs> and then you guys will be disappointed. Like, how dare he have a fucking stroke? How dare he? Now he can't entertain us anymore with separate ways. You know what would be funny is if my cat walks into my room and he somehow he jumps on my laptop and he presses the E key to pick up the rocket launcher. Imagine that. Like just before the timer runs out, cat walks in, boom, presses the E key. The run has not failed. He won he won it for me. Cat saves the day. Now that would be a that would be the best clip of the entire century. I mean me having a heart attack wouldn't be a good clip, but like the cat but the cat actually saving the run would be the greatest clip ever. How can someone scare you with cat sounds? What? Who the fuck is scared of cats? That doesn't make any sense. Like that literally makes no sense. I'm trying to scare somebody saying meow. meow I think you're supposed to scare somebody saying boop. Oh bunch of weirdos dude. Killing, killing a cat and a dog and a child in movies is frowned upon, I guess. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get him. I didn't move forward far enough. I, I was too busy talking. I didn't move forward far, far enough. Fuck me. Damn it, I didn't move forward far enough. That's bullshit. I was supposed to bait the shield but yeah, like I said, I didn't move forward far enough. Yeah, like... Yeah, exactly. Bo yeah, I've seen in old movies. In older movies, they show their boobs and butt, but apparently, I guess they don't care about that, right? I guess there is a difference. I don't know, man. Some some actors do don't mind if it's their boobs or their butt, but I guess they do care if it's like their genitals. I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure. Does does the sh does the showing of genitals automatically Borat? I mean, with Borat, it's like, it's a fake dick. It's not a real one, right? If they, if they automatically show genitals, does that, does the movie go under like a different sort of, um, category? Like if they, um, if they film a sex scene, like an actual sex scene, you can see penis, pussy, oral, oral sex, you know, intercourse. They show all that in the movie for some reason, you know, they want to do that. They just want to film it for some reason, yeah. Just, just to, just to um, have character development, just to show their love, you know, whatever for whatever reason, right? Let's just say they do that. D will that place the movie under like the pornographic category instead of like an R18 plus category or something like that? Keep an eye on the unarmed guy. Which one's unarmed? Fuck, I don't know which one's unarmed. Shit. This guy is. By you. I think this is fine. Oh, thank God, that was close. He could have. He could have. Uh, he could have killed me. Uh. I think I do remember that. Yeah, I think I do remember that one. That was. That one was crazy. Like he could have. He should have hit me. Like legit, that guy should have hit me. 
I don't know why he didn't. I think, like, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I grapple hooked at the exact same time he reloaded. And I think that caused him to just not fire. Or maybe he, like, late, he was about to late fire or some shit. I'm not sure. Like, either he late fired or I grapple hooked at the very exact same time he reloaded or some shit like that. I'm not sure. Like, down to the fucking millisecond. I don't, I don't know. Okay, he just like fucking stood there. He literally aimed the fucking, he aimed the fucking like crossbow for, I don't know, like three seconds. He did not fire. Literally aimed the fucking crossbow for like three seconds. Clever. And he didn't fire. Oh, there we go. Sorry. You know, like this. So, it's so stupid. This fucking layout is so dumb. What? Oh yeah, you no. Need to stand close enough. So I think what happened there was, um, yes, yeah, see, see, he reloaded, he reloaded, and what? then, I, didn't I, I don't know what caused him to not fire, I'm not too sure, that I have no idea, maybe a Ganado was right next to me, or something, maybe, yeah, maybe a Ganado was literally right next to me, and so he stopped, he waited, and then when he aimed, and then when he aimed, I think he was about to fire, but even if it was a late fire, he still would have shot. He still would have fired, even if it was a late fire. So I think what happened was the all the Ganados below me influenced him not to shoot. I think. You wanna know what happened there? You wanna know you wanna you wanna know what happened? This. This this garbage. So I did this. Let's pretend he This. I did this. That. That fucking 180. I absolutely despise it. This. When I did this. When I fucking did this. That fucking 180 is pissing me off. I can't. I cannot even unbind that. That 180 is forever bound to my keyboard, and there's nothing I can do about it. I fucking hate it. That has gotten me fucking hit so many times. It pisses me the fuck off. And I got hit because of it. So if you see me just 180 out of nowhere, just know that's not intentional. It's accidental. Accidentally 180. It's so stupid the way they fucking made these controls, and you can't even change it. It's so dumb. Like, that's just another thing about this. Like, it's not even a skill issue. It's the fact that these stupid controls are fucking you over. I've had this problem, like, ever since I started playing RE4. Ever since I did... Ever since I started playing Rise of Evil, I always had a problem with Shift and S. All the fucking time. Blessed spin off for good luck. Take it. Take it. You must take it. Take it now. You must take it. Take it. I wish this chainsaw lady didn't actually have the key. That way I, I could have just like, just ride the gondola without having to have, have to fucking kill her. Or just have the key surrounded by Ganados, but like, it's I can just go pick it up or something, you know? I don't have to kill anybody for it. Like, I get it, it's supposed to present a challenge. Like, oh, kill her, and she drops the key, and then you can progress. Woo! You know, it's great. But, just, just for me, it's annoying. <laughs> You know, for a no damage run, basically what you're doing is you're treating every single attack like a like a chainsaw attack. Except guy with the with the arrow gun, he fires chainsaws at your head, cuts your cut cuts your neck off. Or the guy that grabs you, he picks you up and then and then chainsaws your head your head off when he picks you up. Garador has two chainsaws at the end of his at the end of his claws. Sadler has a chainsaw. Krauser has a chainsaw. Literally everybody has a fucking chainsaw, basically. <laughs> nope. Fuck you, arrow guy. Yeah. 
you have any idea how unlucky that is? Do you have any idea how unlucky that is? That is so unlucky. That is the uh, that is absolutely unlucky. That's just RNG. That is legit RNG. Do you know how many times that arrow hit me right there? Zero. That arrow hit me zero times. That is the very first time. That is literally the very first time that arrow hit me. Yep, the game just had to do that. On my last attempt, the game just had to do that, huh? Great. That's just... I, I, have no, I, have no, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. No idea what to say about that. That's just stupid. Unfair. Dumb. Anyways.